nasty. How much candy would you eat on any given like candy holiday, like Halloween, Christmas, or Easter? Oh, I could eat when all of it. When you were a kid. Like, what's the most you've ever eaten that you can remember? Mm, I feel like I ate like half my Christmas stocking one time. But I can't really remember. You ate half of it? Like, my mom used to pack it full of candy. Yeah, my mom would do, like, full bags of, mm -hmm. of assortments. And I'm, I'm talking about, like... God damn it, like... this guy again. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. my god, no! Okay, uh, no, and over, and down. Yeah. Damn god it! God damn it! I'm sorry. I ruined it. Yeah, I... I mean, my mom's really good at making gift baskets. Like, she's... She is on it. Um... Oh, damn it, I uh, won't laugh. And she would always just, like, Easter. She still does, but now everything's beer. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> or right? some kind of alcohol. A candy cane filled with, like, red stag. I love it. Mm hmm. Um, um, I was going to change the subject. <laughs> oh, I was going to keep talking about candy. Go ahead. You told your, your candy experience. Go ahead. I get to tell mine when I, you know. So go. Almost died. No, I, I just remember always having more candy than I would ever want in my life. Um, and I never finished it. Like, I never finished any any candy holiday. I never finished the candy. Really? I'd always have it until the next holiday, and then I'd get more, and I'd throw the old stuff out. No way, I had, like... Whoa! Whoa did you that see cool? that? Look at those graphics. Whoa! Wow. That is no! so cool. No, dude, I, I fucking... That candy, by the end of them, like second week of after Halloween well, you're a the only thing that was left candy, in the bag was like the stale ass vanilla Tootsie Rolls you know oh, those ones are the worst those. and oh, like just the plain hard candies that are just a color in a clear plastic wrapper you know Oh yeah. like nobody wants those either yeah. oh, blew man. that guy up yeah. So have you ever, um, oh, unless you were still going. I was just going to say, I only ever wanted my chocolate candy. I never wanted anything else. Like, really? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a fiend I'm still, for gummy worms. I'm still not a, I'm just not crazy for, um. Oh, oh no. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought something weird was happening to you. Um, I'm just not crazy for anything like fruity. Wow. I mean, I've always been, I mean, I, oh, I've, I've overdone I've kinda... it now. Like all candy, I just can't, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. But... I'm the opposite. Like, I mean, I can only handle so much chocolate. And fruity candy. I can eat a whole bag of Sour Patch Kids like no. Oh, I know business. you can. Oh, oh, something weird happened there. Oh, <laughs> <Wow. Aww. laughs> I gotta get out of here. Yeah, Whoa. Know. Anyway, okay, you want to change the subject now? Whoa. Yeah, have you ever like snuck into your Christmas presents or anything early? Oh yeah, I always yeah. knew where they were. But and you went looking? They were Wait always. Wait a minute. Under... I found a secret. I think. <gasps> what is it? Oh, oh my god. How do you get up there? I don't know. How do you get up there, man? Is there anything? How do you oh, do it? Oh come on. Damn it. Look, it's like, he's like, huh? Whoa. I thought I had one. Damn it. Really? Yeah, how do you get I up there? I never knew that was there. Can I go back and get an egg? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Scared oh! me. No, your booty. <gasps> was it worth it? No. Probably not. Start from, yes, please. Anyway, yeah, I remember one year, um, I've always been really good about, like, I've always kind of accidentally found my presents. Mm -hmm. Like, I opened my mom's closet once to get something, and I saw bunch of walmart bags in there <gasps> yeah, and i was like santa's not real <laughs> no, no my mom i knew santa wasn't real um <laughs> it's just like no it's okay i knew it was all sham <laughs> don't worry ever since i was two <laughs> my parents were liars anyway um but there was one christmas where i don't know man i couldn't handle it i got up at like five in the morning just full of excitement it was maybe even like four in the morning i remember it still being dark and I went and, what? without turning the lights on, kind of looked around my Christmas tree, and I found, I saw Sonic tapes. <gasps> oh, and, yeah. Yep. I think you told me this story. <laughs> and why can't I go that way? Why isn't it letting me go any farther? Come on, come on. There we go. And I couldn't handle it. I, I turned on the TV and popped on the VCR, and Erin was awake, too, and she came out, and she was like, what you doing? And I was like, I, I got Sonic tapes for Christmas, so I'm watching them. And she went and looked at her presents and went, oh, cool. And we stayed up watching Sonic tapes, and then my mom and my stepdad came out, and they were livid. They were like, you fucking got up and opened your presents. You ruined Christmas. Yeah, that's what he said. He said he, in fact, they like they like yelled at us for a little bit and told us to go to bed. And I remember like being in my room, trying to go back to sleep, and I hear my stepdad go, Mom! And I go in there, and he goes... You just ruined Christmas for everybody. Oh, God. <laughs> like, he called me back into the... No! Oh! 
damn it. He can't think about how you ruined Christmas. <laughs> like, how old were you for that? Maybe seven or eight, back when, like, Oh, my God, when, it, when it would have hurt the most. Yeah, right, dude? <laughs> dude, and I was crushed. I was like, I ruined Christmas. Because, I, I mean, I could have just been like, but, you know, I knew that canceled. <laughs> I knew that, yeah, I kind of, you know, I was, I was a little shit. I should have waited, you know? You seem like you were a little shit. No, really? No, I'm just kidding. I don't. Fuck her. I, I was kind of a little shit. But I hung out with the, I was a nice kid, but I hung out with the wrong crowd. I hung out with kids who were little shits and more brave and smarter than me. Mm. And so when I tried to... You were to, the kid that got, that, like, even your friends did shitty shit too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got, like, the only time I've ever had a serious altercation with the, pol with the police was po -po. because I was hanging out with some friends and we were skateboarding around a school and we weren't doing anything crazy you know the school is open to the public it's not like the school was, was locked up or like anything smoking crack <laughs> no <laughs> smoking heroin all oh, right oh my anyway but these two these two fucking this one kid that was with us i i always hated this kid he thought it'd be cool he like got up on a roof and started skateboarding mm -hmm. and then to get down it was oh! like no oh, sorry scared me <laughs> i didn't i didn't mean to startle you <laughs> god damn it he scared this level, me this level's never given me that much trouble anyway anyways between two portables and there was like a piece of wood that was like nailed up so kids wouldn't go between the classes and he like hung down from a bar and kicked it until it broke and then That's he got fuck. down and it was loud as hell and i remember like we were just about ready to leave and my buddy goes over somewhere and gets a drink of water and as he's walking back to us, he kind of like passes a hallway that led out to the parking lot. And I remember his eyes got wide as hell. And he didn't even say a word. He just booked it to the fence. And we all looked at each other and we were like, cops. Oh, shit. And we all started climbing over the fence. And I remember we were all tumbling over this chain fence. And the cop fucking speeds Whoa. by. He sees us all trying to get away. And Jeez. I actually hurt my ankle real bad jumping over that fence. Yep, I was that kid. Ew. I was close. You were like, you're better than this kid. That's what the cops <laughs> would say to you. Yeah, they and the and cops. You'd be like, eh, whatever. I remember like Chris and my stepdad told me about the phone call that they got. Like, um, they got a phone call from the and it was like, hello, this is the police station. Are we are we talking to the to Chris and Roxanna Vickery? <laughs> and and Chris goes to my mom, hey Roxanne, it's the cops. And mom like audibly, so the people on the other line can hear them, say. Oh, it's probably some tell it like they just want like a soliciting type of thing. And he goes, they got miles. And she goes, what? <laughs> she, she just screamed. Uh, I can hear it. Oh. But they were like laughing when they showed up. They That's were like, hilarious. you fucking idiot. Oh, yeah. oh, I was forgetting about that guy. You never really had to run in with the popo -po before, huh? Uh, no. Look at this. This guy, it's his favorite vase, right? And his favorite marigolds? Fuck those. Aww. I want a key. What did you do that for? <laughs> Dad was, my mom gave you. me that face in my new apartment. <laughs> oh, you see his eyebrows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, asshole. Eat an egg. No, so, you're so rude, man. Oh, that's cute, Yoshi. <laughs> oh, my God. That hurts my Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Whoa. Whoa! These guys, they look like eggs in like the little egg dishes. Yeah! Where you like totally, just crack dude. the top of the shell. I've never seen one of those in person before. I have. Like have at you? the antique store. Not oh, with an yeah. egg in it, though. Like, I've never seen one being used. Oh. Yo, I'm you! Um, I've never seen one being used. Oh, come on. What the? Oh. <laughs> what were you doing there? Trying oh, to throw Oh, you an didn't egg. have any eggs. That's yeah. what it was. Oh, oh, come on. Baby. Eat that baby. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trying to think. No, I've never had a run in with cops. Nobody, nope, nope. Nobody, nope, nope. Nope. I think it's the only time I've really ever. Like, oh, there was that one time. I was going to say when Tony got arrested. Oh, that was crazy. We didn't actually deal with the cops. Only Tony did, but we were all scared. Tony. Like, that was fucking Tony. Nerdy ass white. Kid. I know, and the cops showed up. And like, he's like, he's up to no good, and he's obviously he's so yeah. pasty, and he's got curly hair. And, and he's wearing acne. a shirt that had like a dragon reading a book, and it said bookworm, and the drag it was spelled uh, like worm. right exactly. Uh, the cops took uh, one look cool. at him, and they were like, this kid. He's up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on. I wanted that shirt. I go. like that shirt. <laughs> That's brilliant, right? Yeah. No, there was this one time where we were playing sardines at uh, the school. We were playing sardines at Steinbeck. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we were jumping on cardboard boxes and shit, and some uppity neighbor across the street called the cops, some hoodlums were making noise at the school, and so everybody's about to leave, and I remember it was like three cars, and somebody gets, one of the guys gets in their car and leaves, the other guy gets in their car and leaves, the cop is pulling up and sees these other two cars leaving the parking lot, mm -hmm. totally passes whoa, them, whoa, whoa. I know, right, whoa, whoa, Oh, He's my like, pants did higher. My crack is showing. Um, anyway, pulls in right behind where where it was me and Jason and somebody else. Um, like so, and blocking us in. Totally lets the other two guys go. And like an idiot, Jason goes, "Miles, get out and talk to him. You're good at talking to people." Oh, so I get out, and the cop gets on his loudspeaker and turns the big old light on, and he goes, "Get back in the car." Oh my uh, it was God. like the sc most scared I've ever been. Like, okay, sir. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was terrifying. Oh man. Oh, there was this one time where um, we were driving around with Jason, and he just wanted to drive through a mud puddle because he was, you know, being a little shit. And we did it, and we were like, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Water went really high. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, exactly. And then out of nowhere, we don't even know where this cop was. This cop pulls us over, and Jason shat his pants like five times because he had like a provisionary license and he wasn't supposed to be driving people around. Is it, is it, wait, is his pants? Oh, uh -huh. yeah, they yep. are. Okay. Know, right? Anyway. And he'd already been caught like two other times, oh. and he was he was like sweating bullets, telling me they're gonna cut my license up right in front of me. This is it, you know. I'm gonna have to tell my dad that I lost my license. And this cop, he Show was us just that like, sweet crack. I know, right? Oh, oh he's so embarrassed. Oh no! And then he farted himself to death. <laughs> Do you have any more coffee? <laughs> Do. Can I have it? Yeah, sure. Okay. So what happened to Jason? Um. So the cop mm. comes up to the window. And the cop was just like some young cop with like a trainee with him on a power trip. And he was like, what the hell are you doing, man? And Jason was like, oh, we're filming a movie, so we wanted to get the car dirty. And this cop just like, that was fucking... Wait, I just poured the rest of it in here. But okay, I'll just drink it out of here. Well, I was going to say, yeah, so... But the cop is like holding his license, like toying with it. And we're like waiting for him to get some scissors out and just <laughs> snip, snip, you know? Like special You're police done, kid. scissors. Exactly, right, with the aviators and everything. And he's just sitting there fucking with us for a minute. And then he finally, like, I remember he, he looks at us and he says don't pull any of that shit again and he hands wow. the license back oh it's a purple one and i was fucking scared to tell jason's dad that he was he lost his license because jason's dad was terrifying yeah. he had one of those trucker mustaches you know oh god and the dad glasses oh and no that dad look no oh, damn i was thinking about jason's dad and <laughs> i got really scared <laughs> got and really intimidated like, no. There was this one time where Jason, like, fuck, he was grounded from driving for whatever reason because he was an asshole. And he was like, I want to go to Burger King, but I can't drive. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my dad's truck and we're going to go to Burger King real quick and he'll never know we're gone. <gasps> and so his fucking solution, like, okay, so we're backing out of the, we're backing out of the driveway and halfway down the driveway, we see the garage door opening. And we're like, oh my god, no, we didn't know his dad was home. Oh my god. Uh, and so... <laughs> his truck was just... Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe that wasn't exactly the reason. I th it was like we couldn't take Jason's car, but he wasn't supposed to be driving or something like that. And so he he's in the driver's seat, and halfway down the driveway, the garage door is opening, and we see his dad's shoes, you know? And we're like, oh my god, we're fucking done. And so Jason's like, switch places with me right now! And without even putting the, the truck in, like, park or anything... Oh my god! Oh god damn it! <laughs> Try to get that flower. We just unbuckle and switch places while the car is still rolling down. And I get into the driver's seat and buckle in just in time for the garage door to lift and his you know reveal his head or whatever looking at us. And he comes up and says whatever he had to say to Jason and he leaves. And we go to Burger King. And I remember coming back in and Jason's like, here, take the keys and, you know, hand it to my dad and we'll make him believe that you drove... And so I come in and I hand the keys to him and he goes, Hey Miles, do me a favor, all friendly like. And I go, Yeah. And he goes, Don't ever drive my truck again. Oh my God. And it was like terrifying. You're like, okay, sir. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I was like, Okay, 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 sure. Oh my God. Yeah, dude. Like, getting in trouble with your friend's parents is not fun. Dude, getting. Yeah. Yeah, no way. But luckily, like, Jason was at least a good enough friend to cover for me. And he's like, No, it was my fault. I told him to drive. I thought I told him to be okay. Whoa. There was this one time, I got stories of after stories, man. You gotta put up with them, okay? Okay. <laughs> That's good, because I don't have any. My, cool. life, my life's pretty boring. Hopefully these are pretty funny. These are pretty entertaining. Um, there was this one... Okay, so Jason and I were gonna leave for a Disneyland trip, a road trip, the next day. Oh, Disneyland! Disneyland, right! Oh my god, it was like my first actual trip to Disneyland after my grad night, which was the first night at the time I went. Mm -hmm. So it was my first real Disneyland trip. And we went to Universal Studios, too. That's pretty cool. It was a pretty cool Ooh. road trip. So anyway, 
Um, I'm spending the night at Jason's house, and I couldn't sleep in his room because I was sleeping on the floor or something, and I was having trouble. So I went to go into the guest room, and there was a whole bunch of shit on the bed. So it's like five in the morning. I'm in the guest room in my like just my underwear, mm -hmm. moving all this shit off the bed, and suddenly his dad appears in the doorway. And I go, oh, hey. And he goes, oh, you scared me. I saw the light on back here. I didn't know who it was. And I kind of laughed. and went, ah, nope, it's just me. And he, like, sighs like he's about to go back to bed. And then he just, like, as if we were having a conversation already, starts giving me, like, advice about the road trip. And now when you're driving through L.A., you know, you want to make sure. And I'm standing there at 5 in the morning in my underwear, just kind of, like, half, you know, eyes half open. Just, uh-huh. Okay. Right. Thanks. Uh yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> It was so weird. Wow. And I told Jason when we woke up, I'm like, dude, you're dead, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Dads. Dads. Oh. Uh, oh boy. What was it like? Have you ever had like a really awkward experience going to your friend's house? Um, like a friend got in trouble while you were there? Oh, or something? yeah, I'm sure. Yeah? I'm sure I have. I just don't remember. Um. Nice. You see that hit? Oh, we should have been timing. How long have we been playing for? Can uh, we just I don't do know. next time on Magic Man Radio? Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's just finish this level. Yeah, we'll finish this level up. Damn it! I missed it. <laughs> anyway. But um. Oh yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I, there's nothing memorable, but I know. I mean, ooh, I have a good story. Okay, so. Where you know, in where I lived, there was that creek. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, down. No! Down, no! Down the river. Oh! Ooh. Wow! Look at you! That was crazy. Oh my! I did not think I was gonna make that. That was insane. Oh my god! Anyway. Um. So there's the creek, and one day. Hey, um, how about you continue the story on the next episode of Magic Man Radio? Next episode. Okay. All right. Cool. So. Man, good times. <laughs> this is the part oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Mosquito! Mosquito! Ah, it's a oh, moth now! God, oh, Jesus. Jesus! Next time on Magic Man Radio! Next time on Magic Man Radio!